Let us rejoice and be glad and give glory to God. For the Lord our God the Almighty reigns. Alleluia. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mystery. You were sent to heal the contrite of hearts. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You were seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that celebrating the mysteries of our Lord's redemption, of resurrection, we may merit to receive the joy of our redemption through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Those who had been scattered by the persecution that arose because of Stephen went as far as Phoenicia, Cyprus, and Antioch, preaching the word to no one but Jews. There were some Cypriots and Cyrenians among them, however, who came to Antioch and began to speak to the Greeks as well, proclaiming the Lord Jesus. The hand of the Lord was with them, and a great number who believed turned to the Lord. The news about them reached the ears of the church in Jerusalem, and they sent Barnabas to go to Antioch. When he arrived and saw the grace of God, he rejoiced and encouraged them all to remain faithful to the Lord in firmness of heart, for he was a good man, filled with the Holy Spirit and faith and a large number of people was added to the Lord. Then he went to Tarsus to look for Saul, and when he had found him, he brought him to Antioch. For a whole year they met with the church and taught a large number of people, and it was in Antioch that the disciples were first called Christians. The word of the Lord. Be God. All you nations praise the Lord. All you nations, praise the Lord. His foundation upon the holy mountains the Lord loves, the gates of Zion more than any dwelling of Jacob. Glorious things are said of you, O city of God. All you nations, praise the Lord. I tell of Egypt and Babylon among those who know the Lord, of Philistia, <clears throat> Tyre, Ethiopia, this man was born there, and of Zion they shall say, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> and of Zion they shall say, one and all were born in her, and he who has established her is the Most High Lord. All, all the nations, nations praise the Lord. Lord. They shall note when the peoples are enrolled, this man was born there, and all shall sing in their festive dance, my home is within you. All the nations praise the Lord.
sheep hear my voice, says the Lord. I know them and they follow me. Alleluia. 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 The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, Lord. The feast of the dedication was taking place in Jerusalem. It was winter, and Jesus walked about in the temple area on the portico of Solomon. So the Jews gathered around him and said to him, How long are you going to keep us in suspense? If you are the Christ, tell us plainly. Jesus answered them, I told you, and you do not believe. The works I do in my Father's name testify to me, but you do not believe, because you are not among my sheep. My sheep hear my voice. I know them and they follow me. I give them eternal life and they shall never perish. No one can take them out of my hand. My Father who has given them to me is greater than all, and no one can take them out of my Father's hand. The Father and I are one. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Our gospel today reminds us once again that we are able to follow a good shepherd. And we follow that good shepherd in unity because the Lord has made us one in the Lord. But we also follow the Lord in diversity. We have an actual memorial for St. George and St. Edward, people of different types of life, but both choosing to follow the Lord and choosing to be witnesses to the Lord in martyrdom. And that is just a couple of stories. There are so many stories of the faithful followers that we recognize as saints and those that are faithful followers that we have yet to recognize as saints as well. But in their diversity of life, there was always that same mission to follow and hear the voice of the Lord in their lives. For us, it's similar as well to say that we, what we do, we do for the glory of God using our gifts and talents that God has given to us. What we do is to be fully alive with what God has done for us so that we might again give glory to God. And that fullness of life is saying using everything that God has done for us and continues to do for that betterment, for the betterment of our relationship with the Lord and our relationship with, the, with our neighbor in the Lord's name. And again, it may become difficult, but we always need to hear that voice and have that relationship with the Lord in our lives to give us that strength, to give us that opportunity to give us that way so that we might continue to be constant in our ability to follow the Lord. So my dear sisters and brothers, let's continue to pray now and always that we might have the strength, that the Lord might continue to lead us and guide us, that we might hear the Lord's voice in our life so that we might be the best versions of ourselves, giving that greater glory to God. My dear sisters and brothers, rejoicing and giving glory to God in all things, let us offer to the Lord our prayers and petitions. For those in need of greater joy, may their hearts find healing from their sadness. We pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. For peace in the Holy Land, may the Lord protect the people of Zion. We pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. For all the recently baptized and confirmed, may they continue to find oneness in the Lord. We pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. For those who have been scattered by persecution. May they return to their homes in safety. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the sick and suffering, may their friends and families encourage them to remain faithful to the Lord. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For Mary Ann Karabata, for Aurora Ortiz, and for peace in our world, especially in Ukraine and the Middle East. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have died, May they rejoice now with the great number who have believed and turned to the Lord. We pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. And for your own intentions. For the end of abortion, we pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. For the 
those who have fallen away from the church, especially in our families, that they will come back and know the love and forgiveness of God. We pray to the Lord. The Lord, hear our prayer. For all these prayers and those in the silence of our hearts, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Merciful God, through Christ, merciful God, through Christ suffered, though Christ suffered, he rose from the dead, entering into his glory. May we gather here rejoice, may we gather here rejoice and give glory to you. Through Christ your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we receive the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God of the Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we receive the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God Pray, brothers and sisters, my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of the Almighty, for our good and good of all salvation. Grant, we pray, O Lord, that we may always find delight in these paschal mysteries, so that the renewal constantly at work within us may be the cause of our unending joy. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this time above all to lodge you yet more gloriously, when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For with the old order destroyed, a universe cast down is renewed, and integrity of life is restored to us in Christ. Therefore, we come with Paschal joy. Every land, every people exalts in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts seem to gather the ending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you.
In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more, giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation. Giving thanks you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. <coughs> Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity. Go with Francis, our Pope, and Blaise, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters, who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with St. Hugh, St. Paul VI, with all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages. We may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life. May praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. <laughs> At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. But not in our sins, but on the faith of your church. And graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you all. And, and with your spirit. Let's offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, take away the sin of the world, grant us peace. <coughs> Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
Amen. The Christ had to suffer and rise from the dead, and so enter into his glory. Alleluia. Let us pray. <clears throat> Hear, O Lord, our prayers, that this most holy exchange, by which you have redeemed us, may bring your help in this present life, and ensure for us eternal gladness, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth. The Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. We always pray a Hail Mary for these are our church, our world, and of our community. And the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. We always pray a prayer for our mother mothers, which is the front cover of our gathering. Mother, mother of Mary's, holy queen, chosen before all women, to be the mother of the Son of God. Mary, my mother, who in your maternity have so sanctified the state of holy motherhood, imploring thee I come to you, humbly I beseech you, confidently I trust in you. I know that you can, by your all-powerful intercession, help me in my need. In you I take refuge, dear Virgin, for in needy, I place my hope entirely in you. I relinquish all confidently in your hands. Betray not my humble trust, but hear my petitions and come to my aid. Dear Mother and Mothers, Mother and Mother, pray for us. 